years ago. <laughs> There's this little metal sheds that you get at like Home Depot for five, six hundred bucks. We painted them red and white. You'll see them soon. I'm gonna get together the horse's grain for the evening and then you're gonna come with me to go feed them. So first, I get the little bowls ready. I'm working with my limited space, but it's all okay because the grounds are gorgeous. Wait until you see them. Okay, so firstly, I get the lid. Do a nice big scoop of stable mix. This is Elk Grove Milling Stable Mix, and it has prebiotics, probiotics, and organic minerals all inside of this nice little porridge base type food, pelleted. So you will want to add water. grain for the deliciousness and the fattiness. This also has prebiotics, probiotics, organic minerals. Um, it's Triple Crown Senior Gold. It's beet based. It does have soy holes, which I hate, but pretty much there isn't a senior grain that I found that doesn't utilize soy in some way, which is so annoying and probably the main reason we're seeing so many diseases pop up in our equine family. But anyways, so after that, the very, very good grain, also quite expensive, is Triple Crown Natural Pellets. Now this one is soy free, which is super rare to find. Almost everyone uses soy as their cheap filler. They're like, oh, it's, it's got protein, I think. It's got a lot of protein. Yeah, yeah, that's a good source of protein. No, it's not a good source. It is not. It's a bad source of protein because it does destroy gut bacteria, which is why I have to feed so much probiotics to reset their gut every day because I know the soy is going to kill it. Anyways. Next up, we're going to do a little cinnamon. Uh, I would say it's about two tablespoons of cinnamon. This will also help with the sugar that is in the senior grain. So cinnamon binds with sugar, and then the sugar isn't released until much later in the gut, when it's practically ready to come out, so it does a lot less inflammatory damage. This also cleanses the blood, so we don't have to call the vet too often. Will also lower blood sugar, blood pressure. Okay, here we go with Immune Boost. Now, not everyone has access to this fabulous supplement because it was made right here in West Sonoma County. Um, with this, I do about a half teaspoon per serving. And this is diatomaceous earth food grade, as well as powdered garlic, uh, rosemary, thyme. What else is in here? A lot of stuff, honestly. Uh, let's see, what does it say? From there, oh yeah, uh, rosemary, nettles, and calendula. Oh, and kelp, which is great if you have a horse that is suffering from Cushing's because it has a lot of iodine in it. Great source of iodine, kelp. Okay, so then I'm just gonna sit down here for a second and mix my little bowls. Otherwise, all the cinnamon will float to the top and the horses will just like hurt when I put the water on it. And I don't want them choking. I don't know if you guys remember like the cinnamon challenge from years ago. And uh, a lot of people were trying to eat like straight cinnamon with no water, which is such a horrible idea. Of course you're gonna choke. Okay, so these, I'm just gonna set for when we go see Ember and Tater, who are doing so well, by the way. And right now, I am going to give some hay to Mr. Atticus and his beautiful wife, Jasmine. Let's see, we'll do a little bit of this action. Okay. Oh yeah, you'll get a good front row seat. Okay, one second, excuse me while I get the grain. Hi, darling, just got time. Oh, can you see them both? 
both. Hold on. There they are. There's my children. Atticus, the boy. Jasmine, his wife. Hello, honey. Uh, she is patiently waiting. She's like, where's that papa? I try not to feed too much alfalfa because it is loaded with glyphosate. Even if they say it's organic, it crossbreeds like crazy and we can't control the bees. So it is what it is. I don't believe there is any such thing as organic alfalfa anymore. But we do what we can. The horses want their little treats. You know, we do the 80-20 thing where 80% of their diet is perfect and 20% is like alfalfa and treats. You shall come with me on a beautiful journey to the other side of the creek. We have to cross a bridge to get there with my grain. I don't know if I'll be able to, let's see, if I do this <laughs> and I take my tripod and I do this, can I carry you and the grain? Ooh! Okay, here we go. So I really want to show you the magical bridge. So give me a minute. This is really heavy because this is six huge heaping scoops of grain. I think it was like 30 pounds. I'm probably wrong. I'm probably over exaggerating. It is heavy. It is loaded with goodness. And I can't wait for you to see Tater and Ember's hilarious reaction. When they see me coming, they're like, Hoo -hoo -hoo. they start their crazy grumbling. And it makes me feel so important in this world when at least my horses are excited to see me, even if it is because I am the bringer of grain. Okay, here we go. So as you probably know, I lost my beautiful 50 acre ranch last month and we had to move in an extreme hurry. We had like two weeks because rent was gonna be due and I did not have it. And I am still struggling financially, unfortunately. <laughs> Okay, let's stop on the bridge real quick. But, I have to say I am blessed and stressed because look where I ended up. This is a bridge over a beautiful magical creek. Hold on, I'm gonna turn the camera around. <gasps> look at the beauty, look at the beauty of this. Look at that, those are wild pink roses growing along the side of the creek. I wish I'd come out and shown you last week because they were all blooming up the trees. But look how pretty this is. And then we've got that big gorgeous meadow. And I brought over my little arbor, my moon. I'm gonna set that up somewhere. And then I'm gonna set up my swing over there. So we'll still have plenty of beautiful places. Oops, my top is coming undone. Oh, I can't fix it. I hope it doesn't come off. <sighs> Time will tell. <laughs> oh no, it's coming apart. Okay, we're almost at the horses, so I think I can do all of this. Yes, I can. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna sneak up first so that I can get the water in their bowls before they find me. Where are they? It's kind of like walking into Jurassic Park because it's this huge field. It's gorgeous, but the horses are hiding and as soon as they see me, they ambush me and it happens pretty fast. And uh, you know, on occasion, I do get bombarded. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna set you up on my handy dandy tripod and give you a good view so you will see them coming. is I take their morning grain bowl, I fill it with water, and I'm going to put water in these before I call them over. Very high. 
high-tech operation. them grumbling at me. It's so cute. I want you to hear. Here they come, cantering. Come on, come on. Yay. Come on, babies. Oh, you stop. Come on, hurry, hurry. What are you waiting for, my goodness? Come on. Come on. Okay, here they come. Yes, yes. Okay, look right here, babies. You see? <gasps> yes, it's that magic moment. Hi. Oh, the joy, the deliciousness. <laughs> Look at how cute. I had to put sunscreen on his little nose and on her little nose because they were getting sunburnt out here, which is why I got this amazing shade. <sighs> oh, my babies. So, yes, this is it. Here's my darling. There's my darling, they're all my babies. And they're doing really good. I don't know if you got to see it, I hope you did, but he was cantering when he came around the corner. She was just doing a trot, but most mornings she does canter to me, which was my whole goal with her, was to rehab her so that she could canter of her own free will again. Because to be a horse, it is such a big deal to be able to run and play and feel free. So we just want her to feel comfortable enough to be able to make those decisions on her own and we have succeeded thanks to your help. Anyways, you guys, I'm late to dinner uh, because their dinner is always prioritized and I could really use your help financially. The move has been almost as expensive as paying the rent at the old ranch, which was crazy expensive because we had to set up all the new fencing by shade shelters and water troughs and all sorts of crazy stuff. <sighs> Not to mention all the time that I had to spend setting everything up and moving so that everything could be nice for them, which meant I couldn't do my money work. And if you don't know what my money work is, I think that you will be delightfully surprised when you go to www.daintyrascaldancing.com dot com that's dainty d-a-i-n-t-y rascal r-a-s-c-a-l dancing dot com check it out you're gonna love it i used to be a um well still am <laughs> but i used to be an in-person adult entertainer and then i decided to take those talents to the internet so that i could start my horse rescue and that was Oh my gosh, how long ago? I think like six years ago now. And since then we have rescued 53 horse souls together. And I currently still have seven of those. Most of them did find their forever homes. And these are two of my seven. You met another two previously. And then tomorrow we'll go up to Occidental and meet the other three. Thanks you guys.